All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. It's your good friend, Possible here, and I am back in action with another look at another movie to review. Now, if you've ever seen this movie and you might actually like it, you might want to stop this tape now because let me tell you, tell you something. I did not like Lucy in the little bit, okay? It really got to me under my skin and not in a good way. I like Scarlett Johansson, don't get me wrong. I like Morgan Freeman, but believe me, this movie itself, completely, complete Arr, frustration and anger and just disbelief that they felt like they could get away with stuff like this. Uh, where do I start? Well, first off, where, where does Lucy start? We you have this girl. We, we get the fact that she's a party girl. We're supposed to understand that she's in this, you know, school. She wants to study. The premise of the movie is, you know, the average person uses 10% of their brain capacity. Well, you get the idea that Lucy loses way than less than 10% of her brain capacity, okay? She's with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend that she's only been dating for a week is trying to get her to deliver a package for her. This first part is basically defines the movie. You have no idea what they're doing, why they're doing it, or why they think they can get away with this. You know, it's one thing for the for a boyfriend to say, hey, just deliver the box, even though he's standing right outside the building they're supposed to deliver it to. It's not like she has to take it across town. It's not like she has to take it into another country. She has to walk into a building that they're standing out right in front of and bring it in. And so they're having this huge argument about it. And this is the only time Lucy develops any sort of intelligence, okay, back in those times. Now, she eventually gets talked into doing it. She goes in, and this huge debacle happens. The first thing is, her boyfriend is really afraid. He doesn't want to go in there and deliver this package. So you would think that once he got his girlfriend inside, he would have taken off. Then again, her boyfriend was not the sharpest knife in the drawer. That said, it should be no surprise when, well, bad things happen. So that said, she finally gets inside, and she gets, you know, kind of tricked the long period of time of trying to understand what is happening. And what is basically happening is she is supposed to, it's just drugs. But nobody trusted her boyfriend, so they weren't sure what it was. Obviously, the idea is, is that she's going to transport these drugs with four other guys. Excuse me, three other guys. So there's four people total. Remember that number. They're putting the drugs inside their intestines, you know, inside, just like in the lining of their skin in such a way that it can't show. So it's inside them. And of course, there are three guys. She's the only girl. And of course, it's Scarlett Johansson. So she's a very hot girl. Some guys decide they want to get frisky with her. She decides to say no. They decide to beat her a little bit. And because of that, the drug starts to get administered into her bloodstream. Now, this is my first complaint. Okay. One of many. If this drug really made people so super intelligent. Why isn't every drug addict that took this drug super intelligent? You see a guy take a drug right in front of her. The first thing they do is blow him away. Now, first off, I think it should be noted that there is a difference between how you take something. This guy took it like, you know, typical cocaine up through the nose. So if you swallow it or if you snort it, obviously it's got to be processed through your system before you can have anything before it does anything to you. Whereas with Lucy, it was released directly into the bloodstream, bypassing the stomach, bypassing all the other organs. So it probably had an immediate effect. That's what I'm guessing. And I'm guessing this because they didn't explain it in the movie. There's a lot they don't explain in the movie. And that's what really, really makes me angry. Also, Lucy starts off with the myth that says the average person uses 10% of their brain capacity. You know, what would the magic do if we could get to 100%? You know, this myth has several sources. and I recommend looking this up because this is a popular myth. The one reason why we know it's not really true is because if you we did, we did CAT scans, all right? And when you do a CAT scan on the brain, there aren't really dormant or not in use areas. There's nothing hiding in the balance, you know? Uh, this movie, of course, reminds me of Limitless with Bradley Cooper, a much better movie because ultimately as time went on you learned to like Bradley more and more you enjoyed him you thought he was cool you you know you, you, you kind of liked him with Lucy as time goes on you learn not to like her at all you know they have the whole Spock thing going on the whole Vulcan thing which basically says the more smarter you get the less emotional you are and the less human you are 
with with 100% of her brain, Lucy is no better than a computer. No pun intended. Um, she basically has all this data. And th the one thing I do disagree with with these movies, utmost, okay, is that just because you're very, very smart doesn't mean you're going to know something that you're not going to know, okay? She could probably become a doctor in less than 30 minutes, but that doesn't mean that without some study or something, she's going to know what medicine to give someone. Now, of course, they're trying to go beyond that. They're trying to give us this idea that because she is using 100% of her brain, as time goes on, she gets more and more, she now has access to information from all over the place. So information is internal within her. Makes her pretty badass, don't you think? Oh, boy, are they going to give her a villain? No. No, they're not. Uh, as you can imagine, this is like they're trying to put her up against... Lu She's Superwoman, so Supergirl, there's a Lex Luthor, and there's no kryptonite. So that makes for a pretty boring story, you can imagine. She goes after the guy, the drug lord that puts her in this, and she doesn't take him out. She just hurts him, you know? So he keeps coming back again and again, and what does she do? Nothing! She doesn't do anything to stop the bad people that are coming after her. You know, at one point, they have a briefcase. She wants it back. She just, you know, floats them and takes the briefcase. She doesn't do anything to stop them. Also, she doesn't do anything to save people who are in danger. And a lot of innocent people get killed, but not that Lucy cares. Because at this point, remember, she's not human anymore. She's using all of her brain power, so humanity is nothing to her. She just walks by the dead bodies and doesn't even blink, blink an eye. And that was the part I couldn't imagine. And also, you know, it's one thing if the bad guys are killing everybody. But when Lucy needs to get somewhere real fast and she drives like a maniac and causes all sorts of accidents and kills people and damages their cars, she also doesn't care about that, you know. Um, there's just so many plot holes, too. Like, for example, at one point, Lucy is able to discover where somebody is because she's making a phone call and she can intercept the phone line using her great brain capacity all of a sudden, but she can't notice a man like 20 feet away from her looking right at her. And the problem what this is, is it's a problem with the script. Lucy doesn't take out the bad guy henchman because it's in the script. She doesn't take out the bad guy badass because it's in the script. We don't even know the names of half these people because apparently it's not in the script. Lucy is supposed to be something about intelligence, but it's a very stupid movie to watch, let me tell you. I did not enjoy this whatsoever, as you can imagine. I was really expecting better. I was really expecting more, and I was really expecting something worthy. But Lucy was a complete and utter disappointment in ways I can't imagine. The true sin of Lucy, though, is that Lucy was so boring. It was so dull. Like I said, it was trying to watch a movie where Superman and you have the bad guys, but you have no kryptonite. Nothing's going to hurt him. Nothing's going to even touch him. In the beginning, I could figure this out. This movie had me giving it a chance and working with it until the plane ride. When she goes into the laboratory, she was not doing very well. But you never saw, A, how she got herself back together again, B, why she was able to wake up when the doctor said we gave her an anesthetic, and see why we should even care. Why should we even worry, you know? As time goes on, her performance becomes so flat. She, she, I mean, Spock uses all this logic and knowledge, but he's at least entertaining to watch. Lucy? Uh-uh, not so much. Kind of difficult to watch because she's so unengaging. And... They do have some good special effects, don't get me wrong. Nothing I haven't seen before, nothing that belongs in a movie, but more in a TV movie. You know, sophomoric special effects on information we already knew. She didn't present us with anything new, you know? And I was hoping for something like that. When I saw Guardians of the Galaxy, for example, they showed us an example of, you know, what happened before the Big Bang, and they showed us the Infinity Cube. But don't get me wrong, that's science fiction and everything. But with Lucy, it's like, oh, yes, Big Bang, formation of the Earth, evolution, you know, the land, the dinosaurs, Native Americans, the building of New York, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes she didn't know where she was when she was doing that. It's like, why are the Native Americans here? And it's like, 
you don't belong here. There's something wrong. But what's wrong is that everything is so ill-defined and boring. And I really was upset with this movie. I didn't care for it. Lucy gets a pass, if not a must-pass. Avoid it at all costs. Don't even bother your time or your money watching Lucy because in the end, you, I just feel like you just get disappointed, you know. Ultimately, the problem with the movie is just best bad cinematography, bad writing, bad directing. Pretty good at acting. But let me tell you something. Morgan Freeman, got to love him, but when he's surrounded by all those other doctors, those other, other doctors cannot act. I did not believe a single thing of it. I didn't believe they were seeing anything. So, Lucy, you let me down. I'm sorry. I really had high hopes for Lucy. I really did. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for listening to my rant. I don't know if you survived this whole rant, but if you did, kudos to you. You have a lot of time on your hands. Okay, you take care, everybody. We'll see you at the theaters.